Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you can see there, the US 30 has failed twice now to break through potential resistance at 16.969. And just when most commentators were hoping the Dow was going to break 17,000 for the first time, uh, it's failed to do so. Doji formation yesterday, down a little bit lower today. Most markets are flat, minus the UK 100, which is selling off a little bit more aggressively this morning. So having a look at that UK 100, you can see there, um, had quite a negative day yesterday, bounced back up halfway, down again today. Next potential support is at 6774, uh, and that will also coincide with the 55 period SMA. Looking at Japan 225, uh, it's doing okay today, uh, kind of reversing yesterday's losses. Uh, short term potential resistance at 15488, longer term potential resistance at 15. Uh, 15,828. Um, looking at Japan, to, to, uh, looking at dollar yen as flattening out, looking at that 102 or 101 spot 90. This could be a similar thing to what we saw in gold where it just began to flatline uh, close to this level. We're in the middle of two ranges, potential support at 101 spot 35, potential resistance at 102 spot 90. Looking at crude oil West Texas, it's come off a little bit as crude supply doesn't look to be threatened too harshly by the um, Iraq conflict between ISIS and the Sunni militants there. Um, and uh, we're coming up close to 105. Potential resistance remains at 108. Keep your eye on crude oil inventories and any other announcements, updates from Iraq if the crisis gets worse. Looking at gold, gold still going great guns. Uh, obviously having this amazing day there last Thursday, bouncing off potential support around about 1310, eyeing up potential resistance at 13.32, that we do need to get above potential resistance at 13.21 first. It's having a go for it this morning. Keep your eye on any US data and anything that points to inflationary aspects, which will help pu push gold a little bit higher. Euro dollar is not doing a huge amount today. Um, still in the middle of two ranges. Uh, looking at one spot 36.45 as potential resistance. Support remains at one spot 35.68. Uh, it's trying to move a little bit higher, but it's not doing it with any great conviction. GBP USD is waiting for today's CCI number from the US and jobless claims the next day and GDP, um, which actually jobless claims are Thursday, sorry. And uh, you're looking to get above one spot 70.48. We failed to do so the last three sessions to break and close above it, though we've touched it a couple of times the last couple of sessions. Uh, it'll be fundamentals now that will help drive that move higher if it happens. Um, and as I said, today is the 24th, so we do have uh, CCI at 3 p.m. UK time. And if we fast forward on to the next day, we've got uh, US GDP uh, and obviously crude oil inventories as well because it's crude oil Wednesday. And then fast forward on to Thursday, you've got US jobless claims, all of which is a bit quiet, really, uh, but should help uh, propel the markets a little bit higher if we get some shocks in those economic data announcements. Keep you on the chart form as ever for more updates from our global analyst team. Make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.